Hey guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, and I am here with my brand new hat. Look at that. And I finally found out the name of the statue. It's called the Spirit of Detroit. It was pretty obvious, but uh, I forgot. Um, pretty cool hat, I think. Um, I'm very happy that I found this hat. But anyways, I'm also wearing my zombie popsicle shirt and my brand new shorts. So it's a good day. Um, Today I got some book mail and I got one singular book so not really much of a book mail but I'm also going to announce something after I show you the book I got so this should be a fun video. <laughs> a very short video maybe but it's still going to be a fun video. So what did I get in the mail today? Well if you don't know anything about me then you wouldn't know that I have a crush at the moment with Andre Duza. His writing is just amazing. And I just, I just love it so much and I can't get enough of it. And I've bought in most of his books, um, very good author. And I didn't even mention he was black in my other videos, but uh, he's black if that matters. Um, if you want to read a black author during these hard times at the moment, uh, I would suggest, highly su recommend Andre Duza. And this is Dead Bitch Army by Andre Duza probably shouldn't show you the cover because it has a naked chick on it but um yeah dead bitch army um i would recommend reading wzmb since that is the first book and uh or not the first book but um it will uh it, it's just an amazing book and it's the first book i read so I highly recommend wzmb and then there's also a little um a nod in there to his other book which is called no gig too small is too small um I, I jacked that up but you know what i mean uh that book is uh related to wzmb so you guys can jump into that one next that's what i i'm thinking about reading next by uh, andre duza if if it wasn't for the two other books that i there's a lot of books i want to read by andre duza but uh this one is pretty cool book uh i'll read the synopsis for you it's pretty long um i don't know what part is the synopsis but uh i'm just gonna read it all except for the uh the uh quotes by some other author uh I, i'll skip that part but um yeah let's read this shall we uh, step into a world filled with racist teenagers, masked assassins, cannibals, a telekinetic hitman, 100 wrapped Uncle Sam's, or 100 warped Uncle Sam's, automobiles with razor sharp teeth, living graffiti, cartoons that walk and talk, a steroid addicted pro athlete, an angry black chick, <laughs> a washed up Barbara Walters clone, a th <laughs> the threat of a war to end all wars, and a pissed off zombie bitch out for revenge. That sounds awesome. All right, so this is the actual synopsis. When the police finally captured the number one suspect in the Bloody Mary murders, a single mother named Natasha Armstrong, nobody believes her story, sorry, there's a comma there. Natasha Armstrong, nobody believes her story about her 12 year old search, 12 year search for the real killer a murderous walking corpse who has no eyes but can still see, who moves like a bad stop-motion incarnation, but does a does so with ethereal or ethereal grace. I can't read today. Uh, nobody believes her when she tells them about the all the bodies, or the people they used as a game for the military-style obstacle course that, that Bloody Mary and her soldiers, a ragtag group made of mostly of uh, runaways would build wherever they'd settle in any given town to recruit more soldiers and prepare for the end of the civilization as we know it that was hard for me to read i apologize guys it wasn't even that it it was like hard or anything but uh i i just jacked that up i apologize but this book comes in at um oh, 357 pages um this is not written like his other stuff uh well from my i know of uh 
the last book I read was like in script format and that was really cool I liked how he uh, he utilized his his acting talents and he, he knows how to read a script so he knows how to write a script and uh, well at least that's my 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 uh, belief in it but uh if you know how to read a script you should be able to write a script uh, that being said uh, that's something I learned in film class by the way um, I took a film class back in the day uh, when I was in high school in California they had a uh, um, for a uh, what do you call the classes that you uh, get to choose uh, electives they had a film class for an elective and I chose that class and it was a lot of fun actually that's where I got my love for film at the time um, I was a huge horror fan I liked a lot of horror movies and uh, I liked special effects a lot and it was my dream to become a director or a, at least work in film and uh, yeah I never pursued it <laughs> but anyways um, this is Dead Bitch Army uh, very cool looking book uh, Actually, it's in very good condition, this book. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Um, there's some pictures in here. Not a lot of pictures, but a few pictures. Um, I'm very, I'm looking very forward to reading this book. Uh, oh, there's the, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, epigraph page says, I got a friend, Mary Jane, and she makes me feel strange. I got a, Call her. I gotta call her out. Call out her name. I love you, Mary Jane. Cypress Hill. That's so cool. But I'm looking very forward to reading this book. Um, when I get around to it, I'm going to one day just do a Andre Duza marathon, and I'm just gonna read like all of his stuff because I love his writing. Uh, his writing is just. It's fantastic and that script format in WZMB was so much fun to follow um, and I, I re highly recommend you reading WZMB before reading any book by Andre Duza because that's the first book I read and it was the best book so far that I've ever read oh, okay maybe I'm jumping the gun I'm being a little overzealous there but um uh, it's my fifth favorite book of all time WZMB that being said, Stickman really came close to knocking it down a notch, but Stickman comes in at number six is my favorite book of all time. But uh, yeah, no, Andre Duza holds the place for my fifth favorite book of all time. So that's novel of all time, I should say, because, you know, if we're talking books, then Hellbound Heart's up there and, and I'd have to change the whole list. But you know, for novel's sake, uh, WZMB is number five. And if you read, my, if you saw my list video, then you know what the other four are. Um, but Pet Cemetery is number four. Number three is uh. Oh man, I forgot my own list. Uh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, number three is Knuckle Supper by Drew Stepick. Then The Traveling Vampire Show by Richard Lehman. Then Fear by Ronald Kelly. Speaking of Ronald Kelly, this is a good transition, a good segue. Um. I have an announcement to make um, with my uh, about a read a read along or a, I can't talk today. Um, I'm going to be reading a book with my buddy on here here on YouTube, Working Man's Reads, and we together are going to read Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly. Now, hopefully, I don't bother him with how slow I read, but uh, I know people are faster than me when it comes to reading, so I try to get a. I try to get a heads up like if they're gonna start on the weekend I'm gonna start today type thing you know it's because I know I'm a slow reader so yeah so just to let you know I am pausing not stopping but pausing uh, voodoo heart by John Everson to read bloodkin by I just I really feel like a vampire story at the moment I really want to read a vampire story and bloodkin by Ronald Kelly just has been calling me from my bookshelf Ronald Kelly is an author that I have experienced three times so far I dug two stories uh, I haven't finished the third one which is father's little helper I'm 100 pages into that and there's like 300 pages in it so uh, or something like that uh, I need to get around to father's little helper soon I'm thinking maybe after July I'll hop back into father's little helper or maybe when December comes around I'll, I'll get get back into the mood of reading that book but uh yeah this what I'm trying to say is 
Ronald Kelly is an amazing author. I read Fear and it's my favorite book of all time. Then I read his Halloween short stories collection and that was really good. My favorite in that was Mr. Mac and the Monster Mobile, which is like my third favorite short story of all time. Um, and yeah, his writing is just awesome. I like his writing a lot. Um, it's easy to follow. Um, he's, he can be descriptive at times, but he doesn't get too descriptive, if you know what I mean. At least that's my experience with uh, Fear. He lets you, like, think, visualize instead of uh, being overly descriptive to the point where you're like, okay, we get it, he's that way, he looks like that, you know, we get it, type thing. But no, Ronald Kelly's really good. Um, and I'm gonna start reading this today because he said he's gonna start his book on the weekend. So I'm gonna start it today. And yeah, so I'm on the prologue. If you can tell, uh, I'm on the prologue. And my book is signed by Ronald Kelly and it has that cool illustration. So yeah, that's what my news is about. Uh, I'm going to be reading Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly. And yeah, but that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you have a spooky night and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out guys.